All right. Back again. Hopefully you can all hear me now. I'm just checking with a friend of mine, just a second. All right. All right. Hopefully you can all hear me. I'm glad you actually got to hear the, the game sound at least. Because there was nice voice acting once again. Yay, you can hear me. Thanks, Darcy. And thank you for the subscription. Wait. Were you always subscribed already? From the start? Why don't you just give me seven months? Oh. It took a while, but it was just some tweaking of some settings again. I've been um, rumbling around with it. It's Marsha. Oh, you changed the Twitch name. All right, of course. And thanks for the subscription, Marcia. It's nice. All right, I think we can finally start. So, hey, how are you doing? I'm going to look to patch 5.2. Finally, I can say it with you people hearing it, which is nice. All right, let's go. Not that I understand half of it. When the science spoke of other worlds, I'd struggle to describe what I pictured. Mayhap things would seem clearer were I to hear the tale from your own lips. But I'm afraid the situation will not afford us that luxury. I trust you two require no introduction. We meet again, hero of Eorzea. <laughs> I like him. Must we repeat this ridiculous display? I pose no threat to you. Though what I come to warn you of very well might. Hmm. Still don't he meant you. to do us harm, I hazard he would have kept to the shadows and brought more than two companions. We need not pretend to yeah, be the guy best of nice. friends. But I hope we can Good put aside our differences for the present. As you are doubtless aware, Sir Istinian and I cooperated to rid the world of Black Rose in your absence. But Xenos already did it for you. Our journey together took us as far as the Imperial Palace, where we witnessed Emperor Varus meet his death at Xenos's hand. Being the sole witnesses to this crime, and in no position to defend our innocence, we were then forced to flee, each pursuing his own avenue of escape. When we were later reunited, Estinian claimed to have encountered an unfamiliar kind of machina during his flight. But to me, his description seemed anything but. And upon further investigation, I found that I was right. Yep, it's your favorite weapon. The Empire is developing a new Ultima weapon. Well, yes, I saw. What, that elegant monstrosity? Created to vanquish primals, with which you yourself once thought to conquer Eorzea. The same. <laughs> In my foolishness, I sought to harness its power, and became the Asian's pawn. In so doing. Oh well, yes, you did. Become a pawn. But you know as well as I how that tale ended. <laughs> the weapon itself, excavated from beneath this very city, was destroyed ere we could fully unravel its secrets, and that should have been the end of it. But... but unlikely as it sounds, the Empire's efforts to recreate it have somehow borne fruit, primarily through secret research conducted by the Seventh Imperial Legion, it would seem. Oh, no. Wait, the Seventh was all but annihilated at Cartano, along with its legatus. Wait. Indeed, few survived. The Seventh, as it is now, has little in common with the Legion led by Vandanus and its leadership has changed hands several times since. Precisely how this project has continued despite such turmoil, 
and under whose auspices remains a mystery. What we do know, however, is that a number of prototypes have been produced, and that one of them is on its way to Eosia. Ooh. All right. Another one. We attempted to stop it, but it was all we could do to slow its progress. So we resolved instead to bring you warning. And right glad are we that you did. Though it soundly dashed our hopes that tensions might ease at last. Yep. As it is, we've begun to strengthen our presence in the Gimlet Dark, and are assembling a force to meet the coming threat. A right. force with you in its vanguard, I hope. Ah, uh, of course I'll be there. Before you we save, do have to save our friends, though. I know full well you have pressing concerns of your own. Your comrades remain in peril, and I would not ask you to forsake them. But the fact remains that you and you alone have faced the Ultima weapon and emerged victorious. We need you. Yeah. And so, when no the start? time comes, if your comrades can spare you, I bid you lend us your strength. I've assigned an officer to await your word. All right. Let's do this. Guess we have the to. The Essian's <laughs> downfall was to be the work of my remaining days. But it was my hand that kindled these flames, and I cannot allow them to spread any further. I will do what I must to see this mistake consigned to history once and for all. Even if it means <laughs> begging your aid. The fates will enjoy the irony, even as I endure the ignominy. <laughs> well, he actually does that, so it's... He's a good anti-hero. <laughs> I too shall make for the border and offer my skills, meager though they seem in such company. Mayhap we shall meet there anon. Thanks, Maxima. How are you all doing? Though we can ill doing afford to ignore the coming of a new Ultima weapon, our friend's plight grows ever more precarious, and none save you can join them in the first. I only hope mm. you are not forced to make a choice. Save this world to save our friends. Oh. Working again, Marsha, like always. <laughs> also needs to happen. Yes. Hmm. Alright, well, let's see what the actual, you know, decision we're going to make. The Ultima, um, the Ultima is optional content? Wait, what? The blue quest over here, this one. It's going to be the Shadowbringers Trial series. Alright. That is odd. But okay. I, I will write that down. I will do that later. But I have a feeling that I would also want to um, record that later. Yeah. Let's go. All right, Brian. What you got for us? No. Oh. Yep. We have to be quick. Hopefully, some voice acting. Because this would have, you know, been really nice with voice acting. Where's the other twin? Now Where's that Cyprus? we are all here, what news from the source? Talking, talking, explaining, explaining. Alright, I explained it all. A new Ultima weapon? 
We must count ourselves lucky that Gaius has pledged his assistance. While this is indeed a worrying development, I think the state of the Empire as a whole greater grounds for concern. Hmm. With the Emperor slain and Xenos returned, it is impossible to predict how matters will unfold in Garlemald. The Ultima weapon may be but the first of many unpleasant surprises. True, true. Well, Gaius was the one who first caused all of this. So it should only be fair that he actually helps us prevent it this time. Which is good. The situation beareth closer observation. Of that there is no doubt. And doth compound our need to return unto the source. Yeah, the faster you guys return, the faster they can help us. Then let us address that issue. Our long search for a means to see you safely home may well be nearing its conclusion. Oh. Thanks in large part to Urianger and Beklug's invaluable insight, we have succeeded in fashioning a vessel for the journey. All right. We set out to create a crystalline container retaining the more useful properties of white morosite, but without its regrettable limitations. And after a good deal of trial and error, we made one. Oh. An nice. arc for soul and mind both that will allow your incorporeal self in its entirety to be ferried between worlds. A spirit vessel, if you will. Ooh. However. Fancy. Oh. However? Only one soul must be the vessel something. is possessed of the requisite qualities to hold mind and memory, it wanteth yet for a means to receive of them. For that, we must needs imbue it with the Exarch's innate gift. The what? A mm. gift that lives on only through the blood of the Alagan Emperors, which certainly does not flow within Aurasite or any other crystal. Ah, yeah, that's going to be a little bit difficult, isn't it? Just so, milady. The blood serveth as a conduit of sorts. Mm. In its absence, it's flesh, memory it? cannot pass so from mind unto <laughs> mind, nor from flesh unto mind. That's crystal. probably thinking too simple. Probably. That being the case, we must either alter the process of inheritance so as to require no such thing, or determine a means by which my blood may permeate the vessel. I am hopeful okay. that the records found within this tower will yield the knowledge we require to pursue one or the other of these avenues. Alright. As well you should be. The Allegan's body of etherological research is extraordinary. I can scarcely hey, believe the Hey, John. Work of Thanks for the raid. Past. Welcome, raiders. Hey, John. How you doing? Did you have a nice stream? Did you beat the navel yet? I'm really curious. I haven't but watched last time. But its underlying principles are not so very different from those of my own field of study. Given time, we will find the answers we seek. All right. Yeah, it was nice, nice. Great, great. Good to know. I know that you can ill afford to wait, and it pains me that I must ask you to do so. I can only reaffirm my promise to you that a solution will be found. All right. Whatever it What's takes, until then? I will see you safely home. I don't like that whatever it takes, though. It's a little bit too My much. Apologies. Isn't it? MSQ of Shadowbring is finished. I do hope you haven't come to Last tell us that mortal peril fast approaches. Alright, also nice. Also nice. No. I had hoped to speak with the Warrior of Darkness. Alright. But there mean? is no need to cut short your meeting on my account. I will be waiting outside. What does she want from me? Why not speak in here? She knows I don't mind. Unless she didn't want to. Hmm. Perhaps I might accompany you. Though I am woefully ill-qualified to assist in the Exarch's research, I may yet be of some use to Lena. All right. Why not? Oh, I can choose some food. Let's see. 
I'm just choosing what I like. Uh, rare roast beef sounds nice, doesn't it? All right, Alfie, let's go. True, true. I do enjoy this chamber, though. Looks cool. All right. Oh, cat mountain here, of course. All right, Lena. What did you need? Sin eater. Really? I guess why not? <laughs> Let's be about it then. For a job. Can I do an eight man raid of Shadowbringers? If somebody wants to do it together, I will see when if I'm actually going to do that. I'm first going to do Endwalker, so it's going to be taking a while. It's over here. Oh, that's very near. Yeah, but it would be fun. But you still have to wait for a bit, because, uh, yeah, I want to finish this first. All right. Go get those cards. It seems like a simple quest. I have a feeling there's more behind this. I certainly will, John. <laughs> all right. I don't remember all of you, but sure. That's fine. They're not meant to be remembered. Right. Wait, him I remember? Wasn't that the one that um, complimented us when we were in the sick bay? Yeah, the infirmary. Yes, I remember. <laughs> See? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Actually, bring small characters back as well. Nice to know, you know, that uh, they inspire people. It's a little bit difficult to understand in the beginning. But it's already dead. Did you slay this eater? Your orders were to await the main force before engaging. No, Captain. It wasn't us, I swear it. A man came out of nowhere and cut it down before we knew what was happening. Tancred. By himself? Certainly it is no light warden, but nevertheless. It's true. Felled it with a single swing of his axe, he did. I've never axe. seen anything like it. Ah, bird. So I says to him, 
Uh, who are you, the warrior of bleeding darkness? And he says yes. And he says no. I'm a warrior of light. And that was it. Buggered off as quick as he came. <laughs> oh, yeah, Arbut is actually a warrior of light, right? A warrior of light? Why would someone go around calling himself that, though? It was those bastards who caused the flood. I mean, if you were going to pretend to be anyone, it'd be him, the Warrior of Darkness. <laughs> it feels, still feels weird that they call me Warrior of Darkness. Hey? Oh, oh, I didn't know. Hey? <laughs> it's an honor. <laughs> uh, something's happening over there. Since the Eater is no longer a threat, our work here is done. Return no. to your posts. Nothing special, I guess. <laughs> I had hoped to fight at your side today. But I'll continue to follow your example. And may we meet again. Alright, alright. Nice soldier. I apologize for the wasted journey. It seems I overestimated the threat. Yeah, it's fine. Happy As to help. As for this warrior of light, I do not know who would be brazen enough to take that mantle for his own. Whatever it may once have meant, it is forever tainted by the association with the flood. True. The Exarch told me the truth of Ardbert and his comrades' deeds, and I am aware they played some part in your own triumph. But to most, they are synonymous with the calamity that befell this world. Oh, poor heroes. Still. If this man is minded to destroy Sin Eaters, I may forgive him his unfortunate choice of alias. Hmm. <laughs> I think it's not an alias. But that is neither here nor there. I thank you for accompanying me. Of course. With that concluded, no shall problem. we return to the Crystarium? There is a proposal I should like to make. Yeah. Forgive me. There is one more thing. Yes. A personal concern of mine. I had hoped you might have a moment to speak privately. All right. Sure. Take your time. I shall go on ahead. Not too privately, I hope. All right, Lena. What do you need? I will not mince words. This matter concerns the Exarch. Oh, it's just the Exarch, right. <laughs> Though his Some. countenance belies his age, his demeanor never has. He has seen more than any man should and grown ever more weary with time. Right. But I see I give the wrong impression. While it is true he attempted to open a letter with the Salmon Filet the other evening, we are not here because I suspect his mind is deteriorating. Open... What? The opening set of this salmon filet? How is that even... Alright. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Nor do I believe him to be so maddeningly unconcerned by the prospect of his own death as he once was. Indeed, the opposite is true. It, that's kind of a knife. You're kidding me. Oh, this stuff. Oh, all right. I guess. It is for this reason that I seek your advice. Right. Since he returned from the Tempest, the Exarch is not as he was. More happy, I guess? He seems a different man. A younger man. Yeah. I know not the details of his research, but when I saw him at work recently, there was a glint in his eye that I had never seen before. He looked happy. Sounds like I said. It was as if he had peered into the future and for the first time found joy there. Well, he did save us all. 
Though it gladdens me to see him thus, I wonder if I should not keep my distance. I fear that my presence will only anchor him to the past. Remind him of all the pain that came before. Oh, you're just a friend. Why not just, you know, be with him? <laughs> yeah, that's what's... Gra was already yeah. bothered by that scene, though. She was Are gone. you sure? And did not talk private and public. Then perhaps we might remain as we were. As we have always been. Aww. What are they are such a father daughter team, aren't they? That's so nice. In that case, I will have to speak with him about the amount of time he is spending at work. <laughs> You should rest this a research bit, yeah. is important, I know, but if he refuses to consider his own health, I will have to consider it for him. <laughs> so nice. Gra will be happy about it, I'm sure. Bam, bam, yeah. All right, facing the truth. In the back on their posts. Alright, let's go. I'm curious where this will go. There we go. Let's hear it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, I wonder where we have sudden appearance in conjunction with this renewed interest. Hmm. Yeah, well, they're not villains, they just did their best, and all of a sudden, well, you know, the light prevailed, so. Actually, too bad. They didn't deserve that. Yes, it was. He did help me. Yeah, that's good. Spread the word, I say. Let's do it. Yeah. I hope it's voice acted. They always do so well with speeches. Thank you. 
Bye, Graf. Bye, Macbook. Let's go. I think we've talked to all of them now. I'm sorry, but I'm not, I'm not really fond of these kind of quests. If they make us talk to these people, give them some more backstory first. What they experienced, you know, with the flood or before and afterwards. Because now it's just, yeah, well, the leaders of the city, but never talk to them, never see them. Only once in like a small speech or something. Yeah, it would be nice. A nice backstory. Yes, this looks to be nearly everyone. Let us begin, shall we? All right. Though I am usually the first to hold forth at such events, I think on this occasion that honor should fall to you. But I never say anything. They would be more inclined to take the word of the warrior of darkness. Well, that's true. Indeed. In light of the subject matter, who better than thee to speak these truths? I'm actually gonna hold the speech, but I don't have a voice. <laughs> they are. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, okay. Well, we're just gonna have a speech like that. Okay, okay. I do, I do wish they would have given us a voice, though. Alright. Recalling all the events. Warriors of Light did all that? Yes, they did. So they never... I mean, they only ever wanted to help. And when everything they'd done turned to ash, they still carried on. Yes, they did. An amazing bunch of people. They gave everything to stop the flood. First their lives, then their souls. And they managed it too. In the end. They saved us. And we... Curse their names. <laughs> Poor Arbid and Co. This should go a long way towards clearing the air. True. I hope they spread the word. Poor Arbid. There he is. There he is! Oh. He has a not so nice smirk on his face, though. Impossible. Did you see him too? Wait, everybody's seeing him? I definitely see something. You don't think it's a ghost, do you? Nay. <laughs> Yonder standeth no bloodless apparition. But a warrior of light and darkness, both. Ardbert. But. What in the how? world? Yeah, that. I'm still, I was still surprised last time that it's actually him. It's you! The one who slew the eater! That it should be the warrior of darkness who brought the truth to light. You've saved me a fair bit of time. Though I have a few words of my own to say, if I may. People of the Crystarium! I am Ardbert. One of those you know as a warrior of light. 
How is he alive? That's impossible. You should be dead. Aye, that I should. But as the world has been given you life, so too have I. But how? I know not we why I, and I alone, soul. have been gifted this chance. But I do know this. Only by the will of the star itself could such a miracle come to pass. Hmm. The hero this. who stands before you now, the warrior of darkness, is not of this world. And the day will come when he must return to his home. True. But this land is our home. And if it is to remain so, now and forevermore, it is we who must protect it. Right. The time to rely on saviors nice, from afar actually. has passed. It is you who must rise. You who must become the new warriors of light. What? Us? Warriors of light? All right. Hmm. None of us were born heroes, my friend. I was only ever a man with a thirst for adventure. But wherever my journeys took me, I was invariably confronted with the same choice. To lend what aid I could to those in need, or not. And I always chose the former. Good Any man. one of you could do the same. All you need is the will to help your fellow man, and the resolve to see it through. All right. I find it so strange. From thine own lips did we learn of Ardbert's fate, and by thy countenance I gather thou art not inclined to recant thy testimony. No. We absorbed him. Yet whosoever Absorber. this man may be, his words hold truth and resonate with the citizenry besides. For us to voice our doubts here and now would serve but to sow disquiet. For better we retired under the ocular and there discuss this matter in private. Yes, please. Go. I will stay here and watch. Yeah, what's going on? I think it's still an Ashen messing with us. Could have been. Like, um... What's he called? The last Ashen. So, you know which one I mean. That is a warrior of light of the first. Or is it? Hmm. It could be that. It could be an Ashen doing this. Because we absorbed that soul, right? Made ourselves more whole, I guess. What is this? He also had like a sneaky laugh on his face when we met him, which is never a good sign. So I think I'm gonna go with that for now. So we'll see. I've not had the pleasure of making his acquaintance, but as you all seem to be in agreement, I gather this is no simple case of mistaken identity. Nope. As far as I was able to discern, that was indeed Artbert. It has been a long time, but not that long. Could he truly have been resurrected as he claims? Hmm. I don't think um, Hydaelyn actually gave him life again. That cannot be, because we would have noticed in our soul. It's eh, annoying, I don't, I'm not sure. That's it. Ardbert did entrust his very soul unto thee. Yeah. I see no reason to question thy judgment. No. Nor I. 
To my eyes, your ether burns as brightly as the day you slew Emmett Selk. That is proof that he is with you still. I wish I could, we could actually talk to the real Abed. Maybe uh, he'd have some insight in what's going on. Yet that which standeth now before the people is far more than a passing imitation. I am reminded of the cardinal virtues, though a sin eater he is not. What which is ether, though? but one plausible explanation. That he is an Asian. I knew it. Maybe. Probably. Could be. Given their fondness for posthumous possession, I would have to agree. Mm -hmm. For some reason, I think they're From what wrong, I understand, but I don't know why. the warriors of light were laid to rest in Yulmore by those who. But I wouldn't be surprised if it was an Asian, though. At the time, some few still remembered them as heroes. Needless to say. Four of them were subsequently exhumed to serve as the virtues. And if one knew where to look, Ardbert too would not have been difficult to find. True. Assuming then that this is indeed the work of an Asian, my mind inevitably turns to the last remaining paragon to survive the Sundering. Oh yeah, maybe I can actually get his name. Elidibus, I knew beforehand. Elidibus. Yeah, that one, that guy. Be that Xenos hath reclaimed his own flesh is known. Yeah, I think Thus, he's far too busy with his uh, form Zeno, and so. cognizant, no doubt, of Emmet Selk's failure here in the first. It is quite possible the emissary chose Ardbert for his next vessel. No, I think he's too the occupied with the Zenos. Flesh of the fallen. My, that is unsavory. And they do this often, you say? Yeah, they do. Verily, for they possess no corporeal forms of their own. The next roller coaster is starting. In what oh, one oh, may no. term their natural state, none save those gifted with the echo can perceive them. Well, then we should actually you now see them, right? Indeed, when Elidibus intruded upon the waking sands, his presence did go unmarked by all save Minfilia and the Warrior of Light. Right, but then we would see his true form as On well. On that occasion, I myself remained ignorant of his coming until after his departure. It was only at a later juncture, when he deigned to appear before me in borrowed flesh, that I was finally able to take the measure of him. Mm -hmm. In such puppetry do the Asians engage when they seek to influence the course of history. Which they can. And they have gained can much now. by it. Emmet Selk single-handedly built the Galian Empire in this manner, while the Hebrea came close to conquering Eorzea, having taken possession of Thancred's living body. True. Yet it must needs be noted that the Asians cannot avail themselves of all mortal vessels. For were they able to do so, none would serve as a better pawn than our own redoubtable champion. Yeah, but I have the Echo, so I... Immediately refuse Mayhap him, right? the blessing of light shieldeth Hydelin's chosen from Asian influence. Yep. Or mayhap other forces are at work. We cannot say for certain. Oh, so many mysteries. Huh? Whatever the reason, I hope it holds true. I dare not contemplate what might come to pass otherwise. True. Is it not peculiar then that Arbert's mortal remains should be susceptible, given that he was once a warrior of light? Or did the final departure of his soul make it possible, perhaps? Maybe. Regardless, to hear an Asian use him to call forth new warriors of light boggles the mind. It's, it's strange, though. It did sound a lot like Arbit, though. Elidibus hath ever been an enigma, his ostensible purpose being to preserve the balance between light and dark. When he made overtures towards me, however, I was afforded a glimpse behind the mask of the self-appointed emissary. Okay. I shall not defend mine actions, undertaken in pursuit of a better understanding of our foe as either wise or prudent. Nevertheless, what little I did glean may now prove useful. All right, tell us. Elidibus possesseth a subtle mind, practiced in the art of manipulation. 
that he coaxed this star's most valiant heroes as far as the source with naught save half-truths is no trifling feat. True, true. And now I believe he doth employ his skills once more to some as yet unknown end. Though naught is certain, should my suspicions prove true, we shall have need of all our wits if we are to uncover and thereafter thwart his plot. Yes. Agreed. Tis plain that simply speaking out against him will not avail us. At best, it would only serve to confuse the people. And I would hesitate to do anything which might tarnish Ardbert's reputation once more, nor yours by association. True. Difficult. That being the case, it may be wise to keep a covert eye on this Ardbert's movements as we attempt to discern his purpose and how best to mitigate his influence. True. His performance appears to have concluded. What now? Go back out and follow him? Or just talk to him, maybe. <laughs> Badly a person. Master Alfino already hath pursuit in mind. And I suspect one pair of eyes shall better serve our cause than half a dozen. Let the rest of us maintain an inconspicuous distance, for the present at least. All right. Oh, I can choose some more food. Oh, pixie berry tea sounds nice. Alright. Alright. Where are we going? Right, I'm gonna say the reappearance of Arbert, or rather, one who appropriated his identity was rather curious development. Yeah, true. It's kind of weird. True. Yep. Yeah, but that sucked. Let's hope so. And yeah, Tancred and Rena are somewhere in the flood, right? Trying to, you know, undo those effects. You care for company, my lady. <laughs> All right, I guess. Interesting. Bye, you two. See you later. Let's go to the Great Forest. I suppose I'm gonna get a little bit of a drink. Yes. I've got to take that one. Right. Oh, nice. Oh. Hmm. 
maybe. You never know. We'll see. It might be a dungeon. I have a feeling that it's a dungeon. <laughs> well, I guess he does. <laughs> Aww. So cute. Funny people, really. <laughs> yeah, well, how... Really now, we could have known their age and still we don't know now. Alright. Let's go. Um, let's go. There's a lot of um, cutscenes, I guess. Let's do this. Still a beautiful dungeon, this one. Voice acting. Our new discoveries are to be found this way. That's such a cute accent. At least there's no Ranjit this time. Oh, thank God there isn't. For him to kick his own people in the in the hole. The people of Ronka are known to have venerated animals, but these features do not match those of any indigenous species. This is no common beast. No. What is it? Though that much is plain from its proportions. It's Life -like incredibly is creepy. Enough. One could almost imagine it breathed. I have a feeling that it did. <laughs> Why you? <laughs> they are like children, even when they're so old. Or are they? This owl, by contrast, seems no different from the others we've seen. No. The sealed door lies ahead. Mm-hmm. I have a feeling that the creature will awaken in a moment. I have very much Indiana Jones vibes from this. Hmm. Well, they are obviously looking at that empty spot. Maybe we should put the owl there. As you wow. see, one statue is missing. I expect we are meant to replace it as before. All right. Where's the most obvious spot for the owl? But I have a feeling that that creature will be awake whenever we remove it. Too simple. There will be some additional defense mechanism. Exactly. Sorry, Just a moment. Spot, guys. There are words carved into the stone. He who would disturb a hero's deserved slumber shall instead waken the beast and know his folly. Don't pick up Wait, the owl. Don't. Uh, and it's too late. Oh, God. 
What? But I only... What is happening? Yep, there it is. Oh, oh it looks no. creepy. Oh, oh no! Oh no! It lives! <sighs> Why am I not surprised? Prepare yourselves! <laughs> True. I'm not surprised at all from this. Oh god, it looks creepy as hell. What the hell? Did you just teleport to us? Where the hell are we? Turns into cards? What the hell? Okay. What do you mean duty commenced? Four souls I've bound. Yet the hero is proven learned and wise. I come with soul shall be their prize. Alright, riddles, is it? Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Depth of paw, with kin do I vie, no sort of path. Whoa, 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 are you. Wait, can't, can I hear it again? I can't hear it again. Okay, um. Oh, yeah. this depth of ball. What can do I find? Oh, well, that seems um, this one. Oh yeah, it is on my game chat. It is. What? How am I supposed to know that it's the Oppo Oppo? It seems so logical that it was the curl. Yeah. Well, maybe this one is the curl then. Oh. Ah, uh, wolf. Wolf with packs. Uh, yeah. Alright, we screwed up one. <laughs> On my belly do I crawl, by my strength does prosperity reign within our hall. Hmm. Oh, right, that was a snake. Yep, I remember. Alright. That's two of them, but oh, I screwed up one of them. Desire that which I yet claim, and we shall play another game. Yeah, give us back our people. What? That's of minor memory. Two spies and he may all may yet go free. Oh god, it's just too much pressure. Twix these talents hide friend and foe. Two should prevent spell or sorrow now. Wait. Wait, what? How am I supposed to know? Twixie's talismans. Hide friend and foe. Oh, it's just... Oh, okay. Okay, wait a second then. What's this? Select this talisman. Okay. Let's see what this one is in. Well, that's a good kid. Oh. No it's like I'm playing with my children. Let's play some memory. 
Hey. Well, we have to guess anyway, so. Nope. Well, at least we know this one. Maybe here. Nope. Alright, maybe first time for this one. That must be that one. Or that one. There's two options. Yep, there was two options. You. 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 And you. Yeah, save all. But now we have to defeat it, don't we? I knew it. We had to fight it. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> yeah, those riddles are fun. I like riddles. Yeah, certainly was not totally not easy or something. This is going to leave a mark. It's better.
Ouch. Get out of that. Okay. Nice. That was actually interesting. I liked it. Yeah, this was fun. I liked it. I like playing memory with my daughter as well, so I'm a little bit biased. It would seem the magics have returned us. How polite. <laughs> now, what have we learned? So sarcastic. Ah, we were bound to run into a living statue eventually. And now we can open the door. <laughs> no, nothing. <laughs> All the smug face. He who would disturb a hero's deserved slumber. Hmm. And what hero? Who are you? That's not our bird. Two is thin. A tomb, just as I thought, befitting a hero. She is Vis. Could it be the Archmage Tiuna? Archmage Tiuna? A legendary hero of Ronka, as you surmised. The tales tell of how she smote entire armies with a single incantation so potent was her spellcraft, though she ever fought in the name of peace. Damn, that's a really strong. Person. I told them no more than tales. To think she really existed. Well, I for one always believed. Hmm. She seems something special. I wonder. By the light of fallen stars, great power awakens. Tuna was not only a master of spellcraft. It is said she could see truths long lost and hear the voices of men's hearts. Hmm. Okay. Not less than the echo. <sighs> like that. In which case, none of this is mere coincidence. She was a warrior of light. A shower of stars setting the sky aflame. And in both this world and the source, we find individuals within whom a mysterious power awakened at the sight. We can never unpick the why of it. Now, however, I believe we might. Does the scene depicted here not resemble the one we saw when we first ventured yes. into the Katana Ravel? Moreover, does it not recall that which Emmett Selk invited us to witness in Amarot? True. Is this one of the champions of Hydaelyn? No way. The final days. If, as the Exarch's research suggests, soul and mind share a fragile yet profound bond, might it not be possible for an event to leave such a deep imprint upon the soul that it could be perceived eons later, given a suitable trigger? Mm -hmm. The Echo defies explanation by conventional etherological theory, or shall we say modern etherological theory. But if it is a power that once belonged to the ancients, to souls yet undivided, Ah, 
It would seem I have entered the realm of pure speculation, and I call myself a scholar. <laughs> I shall refrain from making any further wild claims until such time as I have evidence. Because you're not a scholar, you're a white mage. No. <laughs> Sorry, it's so easy. <laughs> Still, I cannot choose but be reminded of our experience in Alright, my shift. Good luck working. I don't get the connection though, so she has the echo. So what? Remember us. Remember that we lived. History is learned, not lived. We have always protected the tales of Ronka, just as we have protected this place. But we are mindful of what our mothers taught us. We see the past through our own eyes and speak of it with our own words. Thus do we come to understand it in our own way. But this is not the same as remembering. True. Your mother is wise. Somehow, you know, remember through so the echo. No, a nice Though time. Though we witness the final days, our impressions can not fail to be, be nice. coloured by our own experiences and expectations. Those who lived through it would have perceived the event quite differently. We must bear in mind that it is no simple matter to keep the truth alive, or it will die with Emmet Selk and his kin. True. But we have disturbed you not long enough. Fanar will serve similarly well as a venue for our contemplations. So cool. I wonder what it all means. This one seems to be bit difficult. True. Oh, that's nice with them. I'm lazy. Alright, we're not. What you got? It is good to see you, Renard. <laughs> okay, Renard. My chain machine should have opened top to bottom. What? Alright. Sure, thanks, I guess. To clean her room. That sounds rather odd. Is 
She has no bed. There you go, up room. Could have been better, and there's a lot of dust in here. <laughs> all right, all right. And she's gonna enchant it, of course. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> it turned into a tiny one. Change into her right now. I wonder if she's still there. Hmm. No, oh, poor Runa. Yep, your girlfriend's gonna go away. Sorry. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think I need some now <clears throat> time alone. Oh, there's all oh, everyone else. Okay. <laughs> like, like what? Oh, Yeah, the light can prevail again, then the whole world will die again. No, I don't think that should be done, though. Probably? Maybe? I'm not sure. That's fair. All right, let's do this. They like each other. Hello, Tancred. It's been a while. 
Okay, maybe there's this one then. If you are hoping to vent your frustrations on our Ether friend here, I can only apologize. <laughs> Few as they are now, it took us no time at all to track it down. That suits our purpose perfectly. Now we need only wait for Ardbert to arrive. True, true. Weren't you two meant to be attending to the empty? We were, and are. But we can hardly ignore the rest of the world. So we thought we might see how things were coming along. From what we can gather, the answer is strangely. Certainly true. Right now, we think we can do more good here. It is heartening to have all present. Indeed. We will be glad of the additional hands should matters escalate. True. True. Our quarry is come. Hello, our bird. Huh. Think it might it have seems I've lost this particular place. Really? Well, though I suppose it's only fair. When we first met, it was I who outpaced you. Ravana, was it? This is odd. But where are my manners? I wouldn't be here were it not for you, and I have yet to say a word of thanks. Poor fellow. He will be sorely missed. Yep. <sighs> it's not him. Sato is still patiently waiting for you. <laughs> Indeed. Ah, I heard. Very well. Let us forego this pretense. Hello, Elidibus. After Elidibus? all, it was never you that I needed to deceive. Is it Elidibus? Yes, it is I, Elidibus. Through your time in Emmet Selk's imitation of our home, I dare say you have gained a better understanding of my role since last we met. Not that it matters. Right. Never know when doing optional content will trigger bonus dialogue in MSQ. Yeah, that's difficult. So I mayhap should have done the other content first. Did I just say mayhap? Oh, I've played this too much. <laughs> We understand your role, Emissary, but not your goal. What is it that you seek to achieve? I seek to enact the will of the Convocation, of course. If it helps you to think of me as but another Asian, no different in nature or purpose from the rest, you are welcome to do so. Hmm. Lex voice actor, Once, probably. I would have said your goal was destruction alone. Now I understand that you fight for something you love, just as we do. I'd recommend doing the raids and trials before getting into uh, far too into Antwerpen. All right, we might just do that. Yet though we seem doomed to clash. I bid you consider Emmet Selk's final words. Remember that we once lived, he said. Had he not seen some glimmer of hope in our kind, I do not believe he would have spoken thus. True. None better understood your plight than he. His words must surely be worthy of your consideration. Mm, I have a feeling that it isn't. 
Emmet Selk. I have a feeling that he's not fond of him. How very unlike you. To err so gravely. That one should stray at the end of so onerous a path is understandable. But I had thought you above such weakness. Mayhap you thought the same. Would that I had been present to offer correction. But I shall do so now, as is my duty, and return all to its proper course. As for you, look at yourselves. Look at your history. Look back one hundred short years to how your greatest warriors were undone. And now, at but a word from me, you raise your hands in answer like the puppets you are. Naught has changed. Mm. You fail, and you fail, and you learn nothing. Allow that which is most important to slip through your fumbling fingers like so many grains of sand. Again, and again, and again. And you would remember us! You do forget yourselves. Hmm. You want us to destroy you? Because we can. There is no common ground to be found between you and I. Nor do I require any. I have my duty. Wait! Well, we have confirmed the identity of our foe, at least. And it's safe to say his objective is the rejoining. Yeah, of course. But we like still have no idea how playing the part of a warrior of light will further his cause. Nor why he would spur others to do the same. Uh, Alice, what do you think? What caused the flood in the first place? The warriors of light, because, you know, they did too good. Another visit to the Tempest may shed some light upon these mysteries. Eventually, the light won the balance, and then the flood happened. Whether we are to exchange words or blows with Elidibus at our next meeting, the fact remains, we know too little. Ere our paths cross again, I would learn more of the world that once was, and of Elidibus himself. In this, we would be best served going directly to his home, much as Emmett Selk came to ours. Right, Though I now. see the wisdom in thy suggestion, the Amorot we visited is but a phantom born of Emmet Selk's memory. I fear it will teach us little that we do not already know. I quite agree. Yet the ruins of the actual city remain unexplored. All right. Given the vastness of the Tempest, I should not be surprised were there more such structures like to those in which the Ondo reside. Maybe we can enter? As long as you don't make me do any more chores. <laughs> it was a nice a man after my own heart. Oh. Assuming we are all in agreement, then I suggest we first pay a visit to the Ondo. If anyone can tell us where more ruins are to be found, it is them. True. Well, let's be off. Ooh, rusk. Hmm. Why not? Seems nice. Bing, bing, bing. Right. Let's go. That's a little bit too interesting to stop. There we go. I 
located. Of course, more chores. Something like that. That's true. Oh, well, let's go. All right. Ah, uh, we can defeat them. But we will do that next time. Cause I'm tired. I have to sleep. So that will be all the way over there. So I'll be running there next time. So you guys won't have to look at that the whole time. I right, thank you all for watching. And next time I'll be streaming is Thursday. So I'll see you all then. Thank you and uh, bye bye.